What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are going to jump right into it to try and make this one a quick one for you guys. Uh, so today we are going to take a look at the Mont Blanc 146 size fountain pen. Uh, this is the Le Petit Prince Aviator uh, version. So it's kind of like a very dark burgundy brown uh, color. It doesn't quite show up like that on camera, but is what it is. So you've got the Mont Blanc star on the top, which my camera does not want to focus on, but regardless, it's there. Uh, and then you have, let's see if I can, there we go. Apologies for the super dry hands. It's winter. Uh, so you get a star, you get the serial number, and then you get some wording along here part of the poem it's in French I don't know it uh, along the clip you have the gold star and then here it'll be easier actually to show you if I can have something to hold on to you've got Meister Stuck Mont Blanc body is fairly solid and then you've got a little F because this is a fine nib and then the piston knob the inside you do have the ink window which is cool the threads a pretty solid brick house of a grip section ever so slight flare out and then you have the nib itself which has a little sheep on it it's super cute and the plastic feed so this fits pretty well in my hand and it's got some decent weight uh, due to the metal on the back uh, so I don't post mine. Clearly this is not inked up right now, uh, just because I want to be able to show you. It is a piston fountain pen, which means you can see the piston moving through the ink window right now. Very smooth piston. I like that quite a bit. Um, fits pretty good in my hand. Writes really well too, as you'll see in a moment, but I don't use this pen very often. Uh, and the reason why I don't is because it's a pain in the tuckus to clean. So Mont Blanc has a crazy difficult customer service to deal with, uh, and it is also very difficult to have this pen serviced. So I do not take it apart like most fountain pens that I do. So uh, it's really hard to clean out because you have to put it in water, flush it, flush it, flush it. Like it just takes forever. So I don't use it super, super often. Uh, and when I do use it, I typically have it inked up for a while. So I'm going to put some detrimentous tobacco in here. For now, I'm going to dip it, but I'm, oh goodness, very, very familiar with this fountain pen. I have not used this in a while, so there's now like <laughs> crusties all over it. See if I can dip it a little bit more. That might have been too far because it's on the crib section. Dang it. See, not even seasoned fountain pen reviewers can get it right on the first try sometimes. Let's see if I can get that focused. All right, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Move that and focus. Beauty. Uh, so it's very, very smooth. Not a whole lot of flex to be had. It's pretty decently stiff nib, but certainly writes very well. Reverse writing doesn't work phenomenally with this ink, um, but you can squeeze out a word or so if you want. 
Um, I've never had any issues with this pen. No hard starts, no skips, no nothing. Uh, it writes just the way you want it to. And I think I was very jazzed to get this pen. And I had high expectations because, you know, Mont Blanc. Um, and this was actually the second Mont Blanc that I purchased. The first one I purchased was a 146. Uh, and it was the um, Le Petit Prince, just the first one, the blue one. I have since sold that pen because I never really used it. And I'm on the fence about selling this one as well. Uh, because to be fair, it writes beautifully. Uh, and I love the look of it. And this is a fine nib, and I would say it's a pretty true fine. Um, but I just don't use it very much, uh, mostly because it is a little bit difficult to clean. Uh, and pens that are difficult to clean, I have found in my senior fountain pen loving days, <laughs> drive me nuts. Uh, this is a perfect pen as far as what you expect from the writing experience uh, but it just it's such a pain in the butt to clean uh, and that really kind of has some issues for me uh, now as far as like cleaning goes it cleans out really well it's not like there's like stubborn ink or anything uh, it's just that you have to flush it like you fill it uh, either that or you can break the warranty uh, and take it apart but I don't want to do that <laughs> because Mont Blanc is notoriously difficult to deal with. Not that I personally have, I've just heard some horror stories, and I don't really want to give them any more ammunition than I already am sure they will find. So um, so I'm thinking about selling it. I'm not sure yet. I flip-flop back and forth pretty often. Do I still recommend this pen years later? Absolutely, I do. I think if you don't own a Mont Blanc, the 146 is a excellent size. The 149 is very, very large. Uh, and for most people, I think the 146 is the perfect size. Um, I just, I really do like it. And every time I ink it up, I, I very much enjoy using it. I very much uh, wish I used it more, but it's just, it's just the cleaning thing that gets me. So do I think it's worth it? Again, yes. Um, it's just the cleaning that drives me bananas. Uh, I do have many detailed reviews if you want to see like, you know, super detailed. Um, so don't write in the comments, like on all of my videos, this wasn't a very good review. That's not the point of these years later. It's just to see if I still like it, if I still have it, <laughs> and how does it make me feel years, years later uh, after my initial review. And that's basically where I'm at. I think it's a good pen. I think it's a little overhyped to be fair, um, but I like it. I don't love it. <laughs> uh, so those are my thoughts. Uh, I'm trying to keep this one super quick for you all so you can get back to your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, check out the description if you want to see um, my Patreon links down there if you want to help support me. There's my Instagram as well as the Discord if you want to join the community and have a chat with some like-minded folks. Uh, if you would love to, see every video that comes out every Monday and Friday, uh, do hit the subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. All right, everybody, it's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So if you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weilei Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, DigitalTent.Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.